Hello, my name is Gail Morton, and we're going to go over this citation tutorial um, for APA and Global Health. So the first part of your assignment is how to find a book in the library catalog. So we're going to go to libraries.mercer.edu, type in your subject, make sure we choose the right resource type, we need to find a book. Okay. So I'm going to go to libraries.mercer.edu. Here's where I'm going to type in my subject. Here we go. Environmental health issues. Search. Now, if you look up here, it says search everything. I'm going to go to this drop down box because we're looking for um, books in the library catalog. Limit your results to books. And click search. Our books, some available online, some of them are in the library. Okay. And here's how the citation looks for a book. Actually, this is one is a book chapter on environmental issues. This is how it looks. This is a DOI, it's a document object identifier. Um, most articles and books now come with this, that you know, the ones that are online. Um, some of them don't, but if it does, put it in there. This will help you find the book just using a DOI number. Okay, so the next part of your assignment is a subject-related peer-reviewed article. So we're going to type in your subject. Your subject could be like your research that you're doing. So again, we're going to go to libraries.mercer.edu. I'm going to type in uh, global health and environmental conditions. That's it. Show you how to do that. Again, here I am at the library site. I'll just pop that right in here. Again, these are just very basic. How to search. If you need more help with your research, please contact me and I will help you with that. Okay, so I'm going to hop out of the books. I'm going to go to articles. Okay. Here are a bunch of articles. One more thing I want to do, I'll draw your attention over here to the left hand side. Um, many times for your research you're going to need peer reviewed. So I'm just going to click on this and then you must click on apply filter and that will get you peer reviewed journal articles. Here's one. Let me just show you something else real quick. I'm going to open this. And here's a citation link. Now when you do this citation link, a lot of times it is right but a lot of times it isn't. So you have to check the format. The information is good, but how it's formatted may not always be right. So here's all the different citations you can choose. We're going to stick to APA for this one. Okay. And here's the citation. This one looks right. Okay. Okay, I'm going to hop back into this PowerPoint. The next part of your assignment is going to be YouTube video. Okay, we can go into Google, type in your research terms, but make sure you're using, um, when you do Google, make sure you put in like you want to see a YouTube video. There's a lot of videos out there. You also want to make sure of um, where your resources are coming from. So here's, a, here's some research terms I'm going to choose. Okay, and I'm going to type in Google. Google.com. I'm going to type in YouTube. There we go. And I did put in the World Health Organization because that's a good resource. And here it is on YouTube. You can see a bunch of YouTube ones. I'm going to bring your attention to here. We don't know. This is a bio ed online. We don't know where that's from. So let's do something a little different. Let's type in YouTube and World Health Organization or the WHO. And there we go. Okay. Healthy 
healthy environments. There's a few good ones out there. So just make sure that when you're doing it, you want to cook on something that is um, from the World Health Organization. Here you have one from the president. That's ABC News. So you're looking here, World Health Organization WHO. Okay, not something about the WHO. So I'm just going to bring that to your attention. Okay, so back to the PowerPoint. Here's how it would look. World Health Organization they gave us a date. It's the title of YouTube video. Where it's from. Okay. Looks like it's from a conference in Geneva, Switzerland, and here is the URL. If you if if the YouTube video already has a date, you don't need to retrieve from. You used to need the retrieve from, but the, the latest APA says if it's associated with a date, then you don't need it. So you should be okay. Okay. Okay, the last part of your tutorial is here. It's an in-text citation. Okay. These are just a couple of examples of how to do it. There's more than these two ways to do this. I just picked a couple. So you have an author, a year, and then a direct quote, and then a page number. Okay, and here you start off with the direct, the direct quote, and you have the author, year, and page number. There's different nuances to it. What if there isn't a page number, or what if there's over five authors? There's different rules to that. And you can find those in your APA manual, or you can also um, you can email me. And I will tell you um, how to do it. And I'm on the one of the research services librarians at Mercy University. You can just contact me with that. Okay. Thank you.